Hello, it's me, Troubadour, and I'm back in the revamp star pack. And today, we're featuring a pet that, I mean, you guys knew I was gonna do. We're doing the Mantis, baby. Let's go. Oh, Mantis is my favorite pet in the game. And not only did they give it uh, some new art that looks amazing, they also changed its ability and added some pets that makes Mantis honestly really, really good. And I love that. So we're gonna be showcasing that in today's video. Uh, and hopefully you guys learned some things, learned some cool tech you can do with the Mantis here in the Star Pack. Now early on here, I already get the level three frog, which is pretty darn sick um, because I can use that for like some pivoting later with some, you know, I can pivot some stats later uh, onto any pet. Also, I can trigger a, a starfish later and get a bunch of stats for my team. Honestly, it's amazing. I got one as early as turn three here. So we're really looking forward to doing that later. I find myself running like the giant cell unit like almost every single game just because it's just too much fun. I can't stop doing it. Uh, but here we pick a pet that honestly I basically never used uh, in the old star pack. That's the salamander. If they changed the ability, now start a battle, it gets stats for each cell friend. Think of it as like the uh, cell, cell version of the frill dragon. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a trigger limit or anything, so it's pretty darn nice, especially when I, it, it counts it based on a, well, unlike the frill dragon, it's not the number of cell pets, it's the level of cell pets on your team. So even though I only have one cell pet in the frog, they're each getting plus three attack and health because it's at, at level three, which is super cool. Now here, I'm really just looking for some more levels. I was really hoping for more uh, Salamander, really, but I didn't find it here, but that's okay. Um, we're just gonna take in our Ant Eaters because Ant Eater is really good. My opponent here is running Fairy Armadillo. I've been trying to do some Fairy Armadillo stuff. It's really fun. It can be really good stuff like Koala. Yo, I need to do a video on Koala because Koala is actually a really good like carry unit in the early game. I've been really loving it lately. Um, we're gonna keep rolling here. Look for some more salamanders and ant eaters, and really, we're just biding our time. Biden, <laughs> Joe Biden. Uh, we're just biding our time until we can find uh, the mantis on the next turn, because that's why I really want to run, y'all. And we'll put the fried ship on the frog because uh, the starfish will give triple the stats if the sold pet, sold level three, is at least ten attack or higher. So that's what I'm going for here. My opponent here has already got the mantis ant eater thing going, which is really cool. Uh, luckily, we have just enough to draw there. Thank goodness. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and level up the Ant Eater, see if we find anything good. Uh, I don't really want the Shoe Bill because I don't have any strawberries on my team. Maybe I could have done it for like a one-time thing, but I decided I'll just take the Hamster because I know I'm gonna be rolling for Mantis. And here it is, we find the Mantis, and now that like, Cabby Bar activates on Cell, we can use it here, which is super awesome. And look at that, two more Praying Mantises. It's like they know what I'm going for. We'll take a Cotton Candy too, why not? More stats for the Mantis. Um, my opponent here is kind of doing like a, kind of a level build, but they've also got the, um, what's it called, orangutan, and they've got the uh, cardinal, all that kind of stuff. So it's really interesting, I'm trying a bunch of different pets. Uh, we're gonna buy uh, two mantises, um, and then I think, do we grab anything here? I think, yeah, I think I just take the cotton candy. So the next turn I can uh, have two level three ants to sell, get a lot of money, and I can level up this uh, salamander, and I can grab the starfish for the big sale I plan to do next turn with my frog. So that's looking really good. I honestly got a really great setup early here. I've got no losses. I'm on turn nine. I've got money. I've got a mantis, and I've got a starfish for a giant pivot. So I'm feeling pretty good. We find a good pet here in the piranha. I think that'd be a great pet to invest the starfish. Starfish. Starfash stats into. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pick it up here. Um, we even sell it from the Mantis to give it more HP, which is super nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna look for, yeah, I'm gonna look for finding maybe another uh, pet for the um, Starfish to buff. Uh, but instead I'll just grab a second Starfish to get double the stats on the Piranha Mantis. And look at all those stats. Got plus 12-12 on both the Mantis and the Piranha. That's pretty darn nice. Um, was it plus 12-12, right? was it? We get plus three, three. It was plus six, six, I guess. Not plus 12, 12, but still really nice stats. And now with our piranha on turn nine, we have like a, um, shoot, how big is it? We've got a piranha with 26 attack and 20 health on turn nine. That's insane. And look at this. We're going to get the mantis to level three and we can level up the piranha here. Screw it. We have a level two. Uh, 2822 Piranha on turn 10. Dude, the Starfish plus the level three Frog went absolutely crazy. And we have a level three Mantis just getting a ton of stats, which is super nice. 
Uh, we face kind of like a strawberry leech kind of team going on here. I think that they had leech. I don't know. We live on one HP clutch. Let's go. Uh, gonna be maxing out my attack a lot thanks to that level three uh, piranha. And my man's just gonna keep getting more stats. And I don't need the piranha anymore just because, you know, I've already done my big pivot. Uh, maybe we'll look for some good pets to keep on. You know, we'll, we'll do the orca. Maybe I'll get something interesting here uh, from the orca fate that I can keep on my team because now I can summon things from other packs as well. And we'll grab the spino because it combos really nicely with the mantis for some team wide scaling. Uh, my opponent here has got a really scary team, lots of stats, but our stats are just too much, especially with the piranha in the middle here. So we take another win. We still have not lost. What do we get from the orca? We get an elk, which is cool and all, but you know, not really what I'm needing for my team right now. I think go for the level up here just to find another tier six, and we'll go ahead and grab it here. It's going to be the real Velociraptor. Real Velociraptor is honestly insane. Um, you can do some crazy combos with other pets, like just restore peppers, restore strawberries to combo with real Velociraptor. That stuff's nutty. And just a lot of fun stuff like that. I can't wait to use it in customs too. I bet there's some more fun stuff you can do. Look at that there. See, it lost its uh, pepper, but then it got it right back. Fortunately, we're going to be taken out by the Vulture here. It's a little too much, so we take our first loss. But I'm still feeling pretty good right now. I've got a nice combo with the Piranha and the Spino. I've got Piranha, good stats as well. I think about taking the Reindeer here just because attack plus Melon sounds pretty good, but I decided to just keep rolling for some other pets. Maybe I can get a level on the uh, Spino as well. And I think actually I go for the level on the real Velociraptor. Yeah, I decided the real Velociraptor restoring peppers and stuff like that would be even more helpful. And you know what? We'll just grab a baguette here just because, who knows, could come in clutch against a pepper or something like that. Maybe prevent a popcorn or something like that. I uh, face a rolling team with push and with, uh, it's like push plus like Fosa plus woodpecker. That's really interesting. So I guess they're trying to reduce a bunch of HP with Ibex and the Fosa and then use Woodpecker to finish them off. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do it there because our stats are just too darn high. And we're going to bring in the secret ingredient of the star packs. Not only can Mantis uh, be just as good as it used to be, uh, second, it also does damage now, which means you can use it with hurt pets like the Triceratops and the Piranha. Or you can put a pepper on a unit that you want the Mantis to not kill and you can keep it. And then lastly, they added the Ammonite here, which transform when it faints, it transforms the front mess pro's friend into a mimic octopus like you see here. Uh, and we can do that in the shop with the Mantis. So now we're a 50-50 level three. We don't really need the stats anymore. So let's just turn it into basically a level three octopus. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Look at that, 50-50. So what the Mimic Octopus does is it'll deal uh, four damage to the lowest health uh, enemy after each attack. So it doesn't do as much damage to the octopus, but it's targeted at the lowest health, which is really strong. And level three does three targets. So check it out here. Look at their stats. We're just delete one, delete two, delete three. We're just killing everybody with just the Mimic Octopus. It's crazy strong. And then we got the summons in the back to take care of things. Let's go. Get some more HP on a Piranha here. But yeah, at this point, I mean, I guess I'm just looking for Peppers, looking for maybe some levels on the Spino and the Orca, but we're sitting pretty good. We're looking pretty good. We face a summon team with a Toad Vulture, which is really scary, except they kill the Vulture and Toad with the Octopus. They had like level two Orca, level three Orca, level three Toad, and we still beat them because the Mimic Octopus is that insane, y'all. Look at that, what do you even do? That's the amazing thing about Mantis in the pack, is you can combo with so many great things, and then when you're done, you just turn it into a Mimic Octopus, and you're still really good. Mantis is insane in the new pack, y'all. Don't sleep on it. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and take in our Orca. If we lose here, we'll find a level, but honestly, I'm not worried at all. What are we facing the last opponent here? We face a giant stats, giant scaling team, but the peppers from the real Velociraptor are coming in clutch, giving us extra attacks with our high attack and we're able to take the win. And we get the achievement, let's go. Level three Mimic Octopus, thanks to the Mantis, the Praying Mantis, let's freaking go. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this awesome Mantis gameplay. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the generic stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next video, but until then, as always, stay true.